Hey everyone, this is Andy Joe Hawk News Sports. I hope you enjoy your day today in this video. Today, we are talking about where could Duncan Keith go? Top 5 places where Duncan Keith can go. Now, uh, Duncan Keith, of course, is a long time Chicago Blackhawks D man. He's been there for a long time, his career. And he is a very, very solid defenseman in his career. Um, through his career, he's been very solid. But Duncan Keith, now he's, um, I can find, whoops. I believe he's 37. Yes, he's 37 and July 16th. Actually, today was his birthday. So he's just today turned 37 years old. So, yeah, July, oh wait, today's not the 16th, sorry, I looked at 4.16 p.m., sorry. Um, he's going to be 38 by next season starts, because July 16th is, yeah, 14 days when I record this video. So, he's going to be 38 years old by the time he plays for next year, and Duncan Keith. It's a very solid defenseman. Um, was drafted in 2002, 54th uh, overall, second round by the Blackhawks. Just a little synopsis on his career. Uh, just a little review. Not very long, and then we'll get into the top five teams that could acquire Duncan Keefe. Now, Duncan Keefe has been on this massive deal. Uh, 13 years on a 5.538 million buck contract. 17, 72 million is uh, what he'll be making at the end uh, for all those years. But two more years is on his contract. This coming, this upcoming season, 2021 to 2022, and 2022 to 2023 season, and he has no movement clause, but the player, Duncan Keefe, and the management of the Blackhawks and Stan Bowman will, yes, will work on a deal to trade him somewhere. He wants to be on the West Coast, or West Canada, um, just a little thing to tell you, he is from Winnipeg, Manitoba, uh, Canada, so there is a chance he could go there too, but that's what we're going to get into our top five, but just to let you know a little bit more about Duncan Keith, um, like I said, I would tell you, um, he already has an 1,192 games played, 105 goals, 520 assists, 625 points, and in the playoffs, he has 135 games, 18 goals, 30, uh, 68 assists for 86 points, and a plus 24 in the playoffs. He, you know, in the playoffs, he is just a absolute solid player. Uh, you just think of it, and you look at it, and you just like the more he was out there in the playoff on the playoffs. Because the more time you gave him, the better he would get. And he's just been an absolute staple on that blue line for the Black Cubs for so many years. Um, let me count the years. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 years for the Blackhawks. And he wants to move on. He feels like this is it for him um, because the Blackhawks are... Basically in this rebuild at this time, and they're not going to get a cup any time during his uh, two years left from his contract. Absolutely. We know that. Even though they try to contend for a playoff spot, and they were very close to on um, just Nashville and Dallas. Uh, uh, I mean, Nashville beat them, and Dallas was right there trying to go for it too. So were the Blackhawks. By the end, we knew the Hawks weren't going to go into playoffs. But it was close. They were in a playoff spot for most of the season. But... Before the season started, we all have to remember, he was a guy who was like, he was against the rebuild. He did not want a rebuild with the Hawks, because that little came out um, about they're going to rebuild. And Duncan Keefe was totally against a rebuild, right? So we'll see what happens. Um, and then after the season ended here, and last week now, or this coming, this week we had... News broke out, he wants to be traded somewhere, and both of them are looking at it. So let's now get into the top five teams that Duncan Keith can go to. Shall we get started? I think we shall. Alright, starting off at number five, I have is the Calgary Flames. Now, Duncan Keith is, you know, um, interesting about Calgary. He's from Canada, Manitoba, Winnipeg, I said. But um, Calgary would be an interesting one. You know, I... 
I would say they're approaching more of a rebuild style in this offseason. But, like, <laughs> um, you know, at the at the uh, tree deadline, they went more of a rebuild style, right? But um, you look at the defense they have. is Gio Dono. He's got another year on his contract. You have Hannafin for the number three years. Uh, Rasmus Anderson, he's not going anywhere. They got for a while. You also have Tanner they have for the next three years. Stone, he's a UFA. Nestroff, he's a UFA. Killington, he is a uh, RFA. So is Val Mackey and McAlee. Connor McAlee are uh, RFAs right there. So, does he fit in this lineup? That's why I put up number five. I know that Vancouver's out of the mix on... Um, on Duncan Keith because they could use Duncan Keith, but they got to sign Quinn Hughes. They got to sign Elias Pedersen. Those are two RFAs going to want a lot of money, so you got to figure that out. And they're out on uh, Duncan Keith. But Duncan Keith would be an interesting fit in Calgary. I would try to understand where they're going here. Just Keith, if Keith wants to win, the Flames aren't going to be the best option for him. You know what I mean? Um, but we'll see what happens, right? So let's go on to number four. And number four is the LA Kings. Now the LA Kings are a team that want to make the playoffs next year, right? And contend for a playoff spot after the last couple of years being this rebuild. The last couple uh, couple of days ago, they traded for Victor Alfredson for second and third round pick, meaning they want to get to the playoffs. They want to be there. Correct? Yes, they want to be there. So Duncan Keefe would love, would probably like that. And also, a thing that the Kings need is defense. And he would just slot right in there for experience. He's not as good defensively and offensive like he used to be in his career. He didn't have much offense, period, in his career. Um, he did score, um, but not as much as, you know, a puck-moving defenseman. He was more of a shutdown guy, uh, a lot of experience. But uh, Duncan Keefe... Would be great on that blue line to help out Tobias Young, Ferg, Matt Roy, uh, Jersey, Sean Jersey, some other guys out there. And he would do a fantastic job uh, just to coach these guys along with his veteranship. That's just amazing to have him. You have Drew Doughty there, Oli Mata, Matt Roy, Sean Rocker, Michael Anderson, another guy. He's 22. Um, Bjorn Foot's 20. McDermott, he's 27, 26 is Willen. So there are some young guys on this defense. And they could use a guy like this to really help them. And they really want to make the playoffs next year. So this might be a great place for Duncan Keith to go to. Um, but it's a Western team for sure. We'll see how things go. So, what is number three? Who's ready for number three? Here we go. Number three is... The Edmonton Oilers. Now, Edmonton, I think we all can say that they could use another defenseman, right? Um, they could absolutely use a defenseman. Um, you know, who they have on that defense? They have, <clears throat> excuse me, they have um, Donald Nurse. And Donald Nurse has been absolutely fantastic this year. A breakout season for Nurse, right? You have Nurse, you have Bear, Russell Bouchard, uh, Brobrook, um, Caleb Jones, uh, Leganson, Cuckoo, uh, Barry. Kulikov, Lawson, of course, Kuku, uh, Barry, Kulikov, and Lawson are all UFAs. We'll see what happens there, but I think bringing in Duncan Keith would just really be nice for that because they could use a defenseman. Um, they could really use more of an experienced guy who definitely, even though um, Donald Nurse is 26, um, he could help out Bale, he could help out Bouchard, Philip uh, Brillberg, Caleb Jones, who's 24, uh, Lakin sent to to really get themselves around and become a, you know, solid D-man because he knows everything about being a solid D-man, right? He knows everything. He knows what he's doing as a solid D-man, Duncan Keith, right? So that would be great. He's not going to have a massive impact, Duncan Keith, but he will have a solid input um, being that veteran guy on that blue line and just would help a lot, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. There so. I think that'll be a great pick for them for sure. And moving on to number two, I have the Seattle Kraken. What a great! This would be a cool one if Seattle actually picked, you know, Duncan Keith. That would be crazy to see Seattle pick Duncan Keith. But Seattle would be an interesting one, absolutely. You know, he's a 
of course, I'm on the western side there in uh, Washington State, but, um, you know, just, that would be solid. They don't even know the team. You know, we don't even know the team, what it's going to be like. I'm sure Duncan Keith kind of asked one fans, is this a team going to make the playoffs? Is this more of going to be a younger team? What kind of team are we getting in Seattle? I know there's no playoffs here, but just a little sneak peek. Can you, can you tell me a little about that? Uh, what could happen here? You know what I mean? Um, would be a very interesting one. And... Um, I know there's a lot of D-men the Seattle Kraken could pick in this expansion draft, for sure, right? Absolutely. So we'll see what happens. Um, but very interesting if Seattle would go draft, or trade, I should say, Duncan Keefe. Okay. Who's ready for number one? I am. Hope you are, too. And number one is... The Winnipeg Jets. Now, the Winnipeg Jets would be a perfect fit. He's one Winnipeg Manitoba. The homeboy would be here. And he would be just, that would be the best spot for him. They got the offense. They have Wheeler's potentially Stastny if he resigns. Um, if he doesn't, whatever. But you also have Dubois, uh, Ehlers, uh, Lowry, you know, Kyle O'Connell. Uh, you have some really solid, Andrew Kopp, some really solid offense. But the sore spot is that defense, unfortunately. You have Morrissey, Demilla, Hainola, Niku, Ben, who's a UFA, uh, four puts the UFA, RFA, Stanley. Uh, he's a big guy, Stanley. He can really learn a lot from Duncan Keith. Uh, Pullman's a UFA, and then Neil Pionk is also a UFA, too. I mean, RFA, sorry, Pionk's a RFA who's 25, so he's got to sign a contract. See how that goes. Um, but excuse me, there. Um, but Duncan Keith would just be a solid option there. They could use him, and just to help grow the defense for the Winnipeg Jets. Um, you know, help out Vili Hainola. He's twenty. Uh, Niku. He's twenty four. Um, Stanley. He's twenty three. Pionk. He's twenty five. Morrissey, he's 26, to really help this defense to really grow and really become a solid, very much of a solid defense is what they need. They got the offense, but where's the defense? And adding Duncan Keefe would be a very solid pick, and I think he would love to be in uh, Winnipeg, you know. Hometown boy, like I said, we'll see what happens, right? So, uh, thanks for watching. This is any Sharp News Reports, and let me know your thoughts on this. Um, before we go, where could this trade approximately happen? Like, um, is there like a deadline this could happen approximately from this time to this time? Like, when could this trade possibly, uh, be put down? You know what I mean? Um, let me tell you right now, okay? Um, so I would say, um, let me just look up the Kraken expansion draft date. Hold on a second. I think it's the 20. 21st. So the expansion draft for the Kraken is the 21st. So I would say before the 21st, I could see Duncan Keep get traded. Right now it's the 2nd of July, the 21st. Um, also wins the draft. NHL draft date. Let me see. Just want to know what the date there is with really quickly. The 23rd and the 24th. So 23rd, let's say. So, um,. I would say this month, sometime in this month, you can see it this week, maybe. You can see it in a couple of weeks. But I definitely say before July 21st. Um, because you don't want to be... The Hawks are not going to be a team that's going to want to uh, protect Keith. They're going to be wanting to protect someone else. So they can get rid of Keith. They can protect someone else they want. Knowing that Keith is gone, they get the pick. Or whatever they want for him, or whatever they the other team offers, um, the Hawks for uh, Duncan Keith. So we'll see what happens, right? But I definitely think before the twenty first of the expansion draft, he would be traded. Okay, so I could see next week. On the next two weeks, I could really see Duncan Keith get traded. Yeah, two and a half weeks, I should say, because that. Wednesday in two and a half weeks is the 21st. So I'm going to say in the next two weeks, I could see Duncan Keith get traded. Same thing with Teosinko, we could see. 
potentially with Teo Cinco. That's one other video we can get into. But thank you for watching NHL News Sports. I will see you in the next video. Bye.